<laughs> Hello, I'm from Sweden. <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> no, I'm a genuine Swede. My name is Tobias or Tobias. Feel free. Genuine Swedish person. <laughs> We do speak like that. I get that every time. Oh, you're Sweden. Hurdy gurdy, hurdy gurdy. Yes. First thing I say when I wake up. Hurdy gurdy. Even her funerals are sweet. Hurdy gurdy, hurdy gurdy. It's true. But joking aside, uh, that's actually a Swedish phrase. It is. Hurdy gurdy. It's nice, isn't it? It means rape. Uh, <laughs> Shouldn't laugh. It's... <coughs> but in a nice Swedish way. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, fucking yeah, thing. <laughs> and give it up for our lovely MCs now. We have more applause for our lovely. <laughs> I can't. There will be no more banter from this side of the stage. I can't do what she does. She's amazing. I can't do the interacting thing because I know too little about you. So I'm crap. This is my second language. I can't do the witty, you know, the UK comedy circuit. Hey, oh, you got legs. Ah. <laughs> I, I, I know too little. I can't do it, especially in you know, geography. I can't do the different parts of the, you know, you know, the classic. Hey, anyone from Yorkshire? Hey, oh, pudding. Ha ah. <laughs> he named the place. <laughs> <laughs> I tried it once with an old, old lady front row. Where are you from, madam? I'm from Dorchester. Good for you. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> I've got no jokes about Brexit. It's like, I have it. It's like the Da Vinci Code. It's too, we've had it as well in Sweden. Brexit, Brexit, Brexit. Johnson, fuck I hate it. And then Greta, how dare you? That's all we had for <laughs> four years. I'm not going to slag off Greta, but well, she's nice, but she's a bit tense. Imagine her on a date when she's 20. So, so good night kiss. How dare you? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Where to on our honeymoon? We can fly. We can take the boat. It's fine. <laughs> I'm a father of kids. Father of kids, that's, yeah, I'm Swedish. I'm a father. <laughs> I've got two kids, two girls, two twins. No, one set of twins. <laughs> two in total. Two lovely girls I have. Uh, called Hurdi and Gurdi. <laughs> that's a joke. That's a joke. I don't do I wake up rape. I don't do that, right? It's fine. <laughs> we, uh, we tried for four years to have kids, nothing was working, my wife and I, we really tried, we, we struggled. We were one of those modern couples, you know, we tried, it didn't work. We tried acupuncture, yoga, special medication. And then a friend said, have you tried intercourse? <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> we know how to do it, but it's not working, right? We nearly gave up, we had to do IVF. And of course, you modern educated people, you know about IVF. The man provides the, uh, the, the swimming thing, and women do the what? <laughs> That's a kind of bake off. I don't know how they do it. How do they do it? Wah, wah, wah. No. We spent four years on our knees begging for it. We... Thank you for that laughter. <laughs> I love misery. <laughs> Evil, cold, but welcome. Thank you. Very much. We, we tried for four years, and we did ten. Uh, we had to try ten times before we had twins. And we, I think we spent roughly uh, forty thousand pounds. So yes, yes, it was almost worth it. <laughs> That's a joke. I love my kids beyond life. Without them, life would just be a horrible, gloomy rectum. But I. <laughs> but still, sometimes I wake at night. <laughs> Screaming. <laughs> no, I love my kids, but yeah, it's a lot of money. I, I spent four years you know, with a little you know, plastic cup and a tube. And you, you, same man. 
And it's not fun. It's not. It's nothing. Nothing sexy about IVF. There's no Barry White element of ooh, get it on. Nothing. So <laughs> it's more like ah! shame and guilt. <laughs> Family time. No, nothing. Like that. They give you a little plastic cup, and it was very hard to. Well, it had to be hard, but I. I, I <laughs> You go into a little horrible room, uh, the wank room, it's not called that, it's just, it's just W. And you go in and you have to sort of deliver, and I, I couldn't really, because there was a long line of guys, where, not in the room, just outside. <laughs> there we are, come on! <laughs> that guy. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> I was there, and it, it's very, it's tight, it's, you know, very narrow, you have to sort of squeeze, and it's not like I'm oh, in the uh, penis department, but it's very, you have to sort of aim, and, and it's plastic, ouch, it's just, <laughs> I know women hate me now, all the women here, you work harder, I'm just saying, it's not really a lovely thing to do, um, just before I went in the first time, I was in the, the waiting room, a guy, Get, a guy gave me a weird look, you know, he probably saw that I was a bit nervous, and he gave me this weird look of, have a good one. <laughs> <laughs> you know, just another random wanker. And he, he was trying to be helpful, because he saw I was shaking a bit, have a good one, yeah, I'll think of you, yeah. <laughs> that doesn't work. So, we have kids, a lot of money, a lot of money, stroke investment. <laughs> Once an old lady came up to me and said, Oh, that's lovely. You can't really put a, put a price on having a family. Actually, you can. <laughs> <laughs> I got the receipts. <laughs> but I can always do that when my girls come up to me and say, Daddy, can I have a new iPad? An iPad? Christ, I'm not made of money. You are. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> Sweden is a weird country. We are uh, officially neutral, as always. We help the Nazis, but who cares? Well, you care. <laughs> officially neutral still. Hello, when you through we like dialogue and coffee. Hello, Mamma Mia, that's Sweden. We just... <laughs> have you read the papers? There's explosions and bombings every fucking day. And Swedes deal with that by going... Bum, bum, boom. <laughs> Do, mamma Mia, bum, bum, boom. <laughs> Very weird time. People find hand grenades in the street. In Sweden. We just, okay, we don't, we don't do anything, we just... We don't even get angry. How do you... Well, angry, well, that's, that's... I don't like a conflict, I like to sit here and just be nice and then slowly die. <laughs> and pay taxes at the same time. <laughs> we can't put the, you know, our foot down. Even with ISIS, would you mind not doing that? <laughs> put my foot down over here. We sell guns to everyone, we're one of the major exporters of guns, but we're officially neutral, isn't that great? <laughs> it's true. The winner takes it all. <laughs> so, we have, and we exploit a lot of people, we have, uh, like, we do. There's a lot of people from Eastern Europe working in London, right? In Sweden, we, we have a lot of people from Poland coming in. And building everyone's houses, and we pay them in barriers to tell them to sort off. We don't treat them nice. And I, I was actually talking about Polish people, you know, working uh, on stage once. And this man, about where you're sitting, he was standing up and he screamed. You know, he was going to hit me, and he said, "Shame!" I said, well, "What did I say?" Shame! And he had this weird <laughs> psychosis. Shame! Fucking shame! Oh, sorry, are you from Poland? Shame! Yeah, Christ! It's very. Horrible tension. I, I just had to leave the stage. How dare you? I just left the stage. And then, I didn't say that. But afterwards, I talked to the bar staff and they said, This is what happened after I went off. He went to get his coat and before storming out of the venue, he said the following thing Just say no, right? My wife is from Poland. Pause. And she had a stroke yesterday. And then he went home. <laughs> Welcome to my job. <laughs> now, obviously, the first thing I thought when, when I heard about that, my first reaction was, I'm sorry to hear that, that must have been awful, you know, that's awful, a stroke is a serious business, nothing to joke about. Of course. My second thought was, how the hell was that my fault, really? <laughs> I mean, I'm, so, I'm not a mind reader, I can't do every single gig. Mm, good to be here. Mm, my sense is stroke. I can't do that sort of thing. 
Divorce, row seven! <laughs> the third thought I had was, what are you doing in a comedy club the day after? <laughs> Shouldn't you be at home? Holding her hand, there's a minimum requirement of a loving husband. <laughs> Your wife has a stroke, I can't leave it the past. Sexy! <laughs> Shame! <laughs> I mean, he was in a state of shock, I get that, but it was a very weird experience, it was gonna hit me. The final thought I had was, okay, when it comes to the category of Poland and crossing the line, I'm not the worst guy in history, am I? <laughs> <laughs> Fellow Nazi, cheers. <laughs> fewer and fewer laughs. Worrying. <laughs> you never know who you're going to offend. That's the problem, you know, comedy, you know, whatever we mean to say nowadays, people say, well, I don't like that. We joke about a dog when I was five, I had a dog. <laughs> just, please jump off a cliff. You, you just want them to die horribly and quick, right? We, we are fairly civilized people. I am. I, I like, but this thing of, you know, I can't. Me, 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 me. I'm a student. <laughs> Sorry. Not you guys. You're lovely and soon unemployed. <laughs> and where's the German in the house? <laughs> we had a Ge was the German. Where, where's the German? I've got a German joke for you. Okay. The Germans are taking over the supermarkets little by little. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, whatever we talk about, someone gets angry. If I joke about eggs, there's always someone. My brother died last Easter, but I didn't know. <laughs> you never know who you're gonna offend. My wife and I, we went to New York, 2007, I think it was. Uh, we went to Broadway and we saw The Ultimate Jew, which was the name of a show. But <laughs> I should say that. Anyway. <laughs> Very important piece of information. The key piece of it, you know, it was called The Ultimate Jew by Jackie Mason, legendary American comedy genius, you know, he's Jewish, but he's, he's brilliant, right? You know Jackie Mason, of course. It was called The Ultimate Jew, so, no, we didn't go there to do Jew spotting, that would be weird. <laughs> Hopefully illegal. <laughs> Oi, <Oy> vey! <laughs> Shalom! <laughs> <laughs> Kosher skin thing. <laughs> Another one! <laughs> do you like Corbin? <laughs> no, we, we saw, the show was called The Ultimate Jew, Jack and Mason, uh, his final Broadway show, and we were lucky enough to, enough to get tickets. We saw the first act, it was great, I think it was, I think he's st still alive, I hope. He must be like at least 80, anyway. Uh, he did the uh, first act, I went up to the um, uh, merchandise sort of table uh, in the interval, and uh, I think it was his, his old manager selling his stuff, you know, tall, Distinguished, just very nice old gentleman. So, hello, hello, sir. Hello, great first act. Yes, and I looked at all that, you know, Jackie Mason t shirts, books, cassettes. He's been going a long time. <laughs> old, old Hebrew scrolls. <laughs> a Jewish man walks into a bar. Mitzvah. That's funny. <laughs> no, he was selling all this stuff. And, uh, and I said, oh, yeah, that's great. And uh, then suddenly he said, oh, it seems like, it seems like you, you love Jack Mason, sir. Yes, I love him. He's one of my comedy heroes. <laughs> he's great. He's a great first act. Yeah, he's fantastic. Then he just looked at me and he said, hmm, you have a bit of an accent. Where are you from, sir? Uh, I'm from stupid enough. I said, I'm from Sweden. And he said, Sweden? Yeah, Sweden. Okay. You helped the Nazis during the Second World War. <laughs> <laughs> he genuinely said that. You let them use your trains, didn't you? And I went, oh. <laughs> Yes, we did. But then we gave you Ikea as a whole. <laughs> that didn't happen. I didn't say that. I just stood there like an idiot. Yeah, I know. I know. They did that. But they're all dead now. Do you feel better? <laughs> My ancestors. I'm sorry about that. Yes. Yes, I know, I know. Listen, I'm gonna buy all of this. 
my pair with Nazi gold. I'm really sorry. I'm really sorry. <laughs> sorry about the six million. Can you, do you have a bag? Gift bag. Gift bag. Even better. Thank you so much. Everything. I walked away like a guilty Santa Claus. Sorry about everything. <laughs> Sat down in the dark next to my wife. She said, what have you bought? A clear conscience. <laughs> we can sleep now. It's fine. Sight man. Hello. <laughs> Please come to my funeral. Um, <laughs> but you can never relax. We have the same thing as we, you know, people begging. Uh, you know, it breaks your heart on a daily basis. People sitting down just begging. Hello. Same parts of the world. You know, you have the same people sitting down. And I give money. I, I'm not trying to show off. But sometimes, hello, have money. But they never sort of stop. Say, thank you. I won't ask you tomorrow. <laughs> they just, hello. Hello. Remember I? Hello. Hey, hey, hello, yes, good, who, Abba, mamma mia, hey, yes, can I, do you speak any language apart from hello, hello, yes, could you take a photo of me and put it next to you, I've given you, I'm just, fucking hell, you just, but no, but it, it's, it's really hard, to, you know, to know, to know uh, what to do, and I was out walking with one of my girls, uh, Hurdi, <laughs> which I bought for money, um, <laughs> Anyway, we're out walking and we walk past this, this beggar. He's always sitting down outside my local grocery store with a big beard and a little cup and he's sitting down uh, on the ground, right? And she said, Daddy, that man with that silly beard. Shh! What? what, what? Well, why is he always sitting down on the ground having his coffee? <laughs> She's 16. Stupid, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, she's 10. She was 8 when this happened. Anyway. I said, no, he's not having his coffee. He's not, uh, he's, he's, he's a beggar. Well, he's a human being. And he's through circumstances. Just, just put some money in the cup, right? No, you don't win anything. <laughs> <laughs> the young people have said, what's in it for me? <laughs> just put money in the cup. You, you, you will sleep at night. That's, you feel better for 11 seconds. Put money in the cup. And she did. Took a selfie and we walked off. <laughs> and then, you know. She saw beggars everywhere that. Look, Daddy, another one. Look, Daddy, another one over there. What? No, that's a hipster, different thing. <laughs> He's got a beard, yes. He's drinking coffee, yeah, that's all he does, yeah. <laughs> He's begging for attention, very different thing. Oh, yes. <laughs> Let him die slowly. With champ champagne socialist friends. <laughs> Many wealthy people in Stockholm. Oh, I love the working class. Do you? Yes, I'm off to one of my houses. Uh, we have so many posh people in Stockholm, and they pretend to be working class. All of them, champagne socialists. They just they just spend all the money on clothes. Look at me. I've got a scarf. I will never die. Oh, oh, oh. I've got a kitchen island. Yeah, but you're dead inside. Oh fuck. <laughs> I love the phrase champagne socialist. It's, you know, when someone is you know someone's very rich, pretending to be you know. Working class and very, you know, Gandhi like. <laughs> I'm just a normal guy. But, you know, there's no word for, you know, the, the opposite of that, right? Someone who is desperately poor, trying to look rich, right? There's no way, oh, look, I don't trust him, a fucking kebab conservative. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, you tofu Tory! <laughs> <laughs> fucking non bird Nazi. No, 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 no. <laughs> And we have middle class feminism in Sweden as well. We have the same Me Too thing, sort of, they, they, all these women hate actors and old boyfriends. That they don't care about, you know, honor killings, chop chop off clitoris, no, 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 no. <laughs> Not important. They want, I want to get the fucking actor because he pinched me in 1995. Fucking. <laughs> they don't care. Child marriage. Have fun. <laughs> that fucking actor, I want to fucking get him. Hashtag Me Too. Oh. <laughs> It's fucking horrible. They don't, anything. they don't care. This whole thing with identity and stuff. We're saying we, they wanted to introduce a fourth, a fourth public toilet door in Sweden. You know, in all restaurants, all bars. Because like you, we have ladies, gents, and then you know the disabled sign. Right? And then they, they wanted a fourth gender-free toilet made of vanilla and dreams. <laughs> so a TV uh, reporter asked this woman or man or he, she, it, them. So, the person. So, why do we need a fourth door? Okay, this is for all, everyone who's sort of in between, man and woman, haven't really decided yet, maybe they're still in the closet, one foot sticking out, where are they going to go? <laughs> and I saw that on television, I, 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 I sort of get what you, I know what you're saying, but is that really top priority, right, when you're out with your friends drinking, 
you know, I need a piss, but who am I? Who am I? Who am I? <laughs> That's not me. Fuck me. Shame! I'm sorry. <laughs> Go ahead. I haven't found myself. Fuck me. Who am I? Just open your pants. There's a clue somewhere, I'm sure, right? <laughs> Just oh, I'm gonna... It's fine. You can leave the le have your life, but we can't build a door for every separate, you know, identity and sexual fetish or gender. Or do you, you how many doors are we gonna have? We don't have enough Polish workers. I'm sorry. <laughs> how many doors are we gonna have? You know, people who are asexual go sit in a totally dark toilet and just feel shame. <laughs> I don't know, fetish, you know, swingers, ten toilets in a circle. Ah! <laughs> Hello, I'm a bisexual, half transsexual, lesbian smurf from Dissendorf. Where am I gonna piss? Door 27B. How was that? I couldn't get in. Oh, door 27F. How dare you? It's very weird. But I don't understand. I mean, there's always a culture clash somewhere happening. I mean, I, I lived in London 2012 to 13. I had coffee with a guy named Danny, uh, I don't know, an English guy, and uh, I had known him for like five years. And when I lived in, the UK, in London, my kids were two and a half, both of them. <laughs> and we just had a coffee, and I just happened to say to my friend, Danny, last night I was in the bath with my kids, right? <laughs> yeah. And the same reaction, what I thought was a normal thing to say, because I'm from Sweden. And he just, he dropped his pint. I said, what, you in the bath with kids? I said, yes. Why are you whispering? Because you said you, you were in the bath with kids. I said, yes, I know them. Daddy. Papa, what are you trying to say here? There was something fishy, I mean, you know, I, I got the gist of his sort of, he, he was implying there was something so slimy. And I said, what, what, what do you mean? Are you trying to say something? No, I'm just, no, I'm just curious. Is, is that a Swedish thing? That's what he said, a Swedish thing. What, what do you mean? You are being in the bath with kids. No, not with kids, with my kids. Important <laughs> distinction. All the difference, really. A lot of pedophiles and Nazis here, fantastic. <laughs> Why is that weird? There were two and a half. How do you get your kids clean in this country? Well, dry cleaners, what do you guys do? I don't know. Is everyone blindfolded with a hose. <laughs> Turn around, Jamie. Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> so you're naked. I can't go blind. <laughs> Here, have some crisps and racism. Grow up quickly. <laughs> Off to boarding school. <laughs> I've got feelings. Repress them! <laughs> It's weird. I'm their father. He seriously asked me, can I ask you about you? Were you were technically in the same bath. What does that even mean? No, I was in a parallel bath. Of course I was in the same bath. Nothing weird, right? But you were completely naked. No, I had a tuxedo. Of course I was naked with all kids. Nothing wrong with that. No, they weren't my kids, but who cares? You have to interact. <laughs> I really have to go now. <laughs> You've been lovely. I've been to BF Passion. Follow me online or just give me a drink. I'll see you later. Thanks. Bye. <laughs>